All right, how's it going? This is Cole Rolf, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Um, if you guys have any tips or tricks or any suggestions, feel free to include them down in the comments. And uh, yeah, be happy to take a look at them and see what we can do. All right, so we have just uh, finished off at Jamondi's Mansion, and we're off on our adventure. So let's head out from Restov. Ah, oh, neat little. <laughs> We're on our horse, I guess. Oh, random encounter. All right, here we go. Oh, starts right away. Okay. Good. I may set up. Oh, you got dropped. <laughs> Got that one, and boom. All right. Good stuff. First little encounter. Barely took any damage. Good. Ready for anything. Okay, let's... Um, okay, we got to skin them. We got two out of three. Failed one check. Okay. Collect them all. Um, I did notice that it was nighttime just before we... We headed out here, um, so we'll probably make camp. I'm just going to explore the area first, because there can be random loot and stuff lying around. Oh, can't hunt the bunny. That's way out. Let's come over here, guys, see if there's anything over here. Okay, it's not a big map. Almost explored it all. Let's just check up here. And if we don't find anything, we'll make camp. And it looks like... Nope, there's nothing. Alright, come on down here. Uh, this looks like a nice clear spot. Actually, now let's set it up here on the hill. Alright, camp. Set up. And... Just click on it. There we go. Okay, um, let's manage. We've got myself, hunting, makes sense. Camouflage, you're at a minus two. Hmm. But that being said, you're probably... Lindsay is going to be our best cooking. Party meal. Um, watch order. So we're checking stuff. That's, let's see. Let's put Amiri over here. Minus eight. So you are not doing camp camouflage. Okay. That is fine. We've got rations. Good. Use healing spells. Yep. Okay. It looks like we're all set up, so let's begin resting. Some food would be nice. <laughs> and some booze. <laughs> I'll lock myself inside and won't come out until all the barrels are empty. You don't have that much gold, Amiri. <laughs> you can probably drink us right out of <laughs> Right drink us right out of gold. Okay, so hunting succeeded, camouflage failed, not too big a surprise. And let's see if anything attacks us in the night. Nope. Okay. So I guess uh, it's late at night, but uh, we're all rested, so let's head out from here. I believe the exit is just over right here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice little feature. Even the, um, the miniature gets knocked over. All right, let's uh, continue on. Ole ah, there's Oleg's trading post. All right. Yes, we would like to enter. Oh, neat. Well, it's raining, which is... Uh, 
not good for everyone, but um, what's this? Oh, that's the hearty meal. Okay. Um, we might be encumbered. I think we were. We have picked up a lot of stuff. Uh, goodbye, Boken. Okay. Uh, let's see. In the name of the Stag Lord, the ha lawful authority of the Stolen Lands, we demand this week's tax and some beer. Where's that pretty wife of yours, Oleg? She should serve us some dinner. Quiet down, dimmit. Oleg, we're just here for the Stag Lord's tax. Hand over the money and we'll be on our way. <laughs> Oleg, you want to drink some of my blood too? I'm sick of you. You're like locusts. You think you control everything around here just because you put up a, that painted rag of yours. You come here, squeeze us dry, and come... Ah, you must be the guest from Restov. Yes, we are. Um, I'm not interested in bloodshed, but I won't let you rob this man. Be on your way, and I'll let you go in peace. All right, we'll leave. But what makes you think you won't just we won't just return with greater numbers? I imagine you will. Why would we leave when we're, we've got easy pickings from Restov before us? We'll rip out your guts and empty your pockets. I guess that's a call for initiative. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking two. You guys have one. Please finish that bandit quickly. Good. Okay, I got the big guy and the other guy is done. Alright, good job team. We barely took a... S I don't think we took any damage. Wow, perfect. Uh, this is a training post, so we're just going to collect all. And I imagine we wander over here. We'll be able to talk to Oleg. Oleg, you old dog. How's it going? Oleg, take that, you scoundrels. But now, the girl got away. A plague on her. She's certain to complain to the stag lord. They came here to collect taxes, but this time they'll come to punish treason. What do we do? If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe and show those rats what's what. Well, we might be able to help you with that, Oleg. Dove, why are you here? I told you to stay hidden. It's all over, I saw it. I just needed to be sure you are alright. My name is Svetlana. I'm sorry your arrival at our trading purse turned out so unwelcoming. Ah. Tell me about yourselves. Surely there's more, imp more important things to discuss. Well, alright. We're just honest people who came here from Rostov. We fixed up the old fort to house tra travelers and give merchants a place to trade with the locals. We also deal with the occasional huntsmen in the area. What does any of it matter? When those bandits come back, they'll either drain us dry or just kill us. Um... Let's get to the point. You say the bandits are going to attack again? Who are they, and when will they arrive? Well, <laughs> probably very shortly. Who are they? They're the Staglord's gang, that's who. These lands team with bandits like bedbugs in a beggar's hut, and you've just stirred them up. They have a camp not far from here. I, I expect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. The stag lord won't take an, us, an insult like this lightly, and his henchmen are more like demons than men. Yep. Let's see. Yeah. You have nothing to fear. I'll help you deal with the attack. Well, I appreciate your good intentions. I may not have the best manners, but Oleg Leviton is the last name you'll hear accused of being ungrateful. We'll manage to defend this point, uh, this post. I'll reward you proper. Good. We have to hide Svetlana. Please don't argue, Dove. Now we also need to p decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used for the battle. There are some pretty solid traps around here. Some tar and a box of alchemist fire, looks like. Nice. 
Uh, alchemist fire, we could put that by the gate, light it off with a burning arrow when those bandits are nearby. Yeah. That could set the post on fire. Well, maybe if we covered the walls with something to protect them. Alright, yes, I think it could work. I'll even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be pretty good with a bow back in my day. I'm gonna go look around, think of the best way to use trap, uh, tar and traps. Alright, as soon as you're finished, let us know. But don't leave the post. The bandits could return at any time. Yep, that sounds like the, um, the unwritten, if you leave, they will be back and people will die, bad things. Oh, Boken came back. Let's go chat with him quickly. I'm Boken, a local herbalist. What brings you here? Eh, tell me about yourself. What's there to tell? I'm a herbalist. Make potions and sell them. Gather herbs, roots, berries. I live in the forest, I live off the land. Since leaving Restoff for these parts, I ended up a merchant here at Oleg and Svetlana's post. They let me in out of kindness, help me with things. They bring me water or firewood when it's cold and the occasional barrel of honey. They're good people. We could use your help in the fight against the bandits, as long as you don't run away again. Where's this coming from? You want an old man like me to fight? Here, take this potion. Consider that my help in your fight. I have a potion of cure like wounds. Alright. We'll talk later. Thanks. Oh! We've all leveled up! Oh, awesome. Okay, uh, let's do that now before we do anything else. Uh, myself, I'm gonna go straight Ranger. And I need to pick a combat style feat. Where do you want me to click? Okay, that's just information. Next. Okay. Um, okay, skills, abilities, so probably in abilities. Uh, let's see, so we will bump. Let's see, what do we have? Lore, nature, perception, persuasion. Keep uh, boosting those up. And then I was thinking of alternating athletics and stealth. Um, I'll do that this level may not be the best of ideas. One of the nice things about Pathfinder is because you get a plus three bonus for anything that's a class skill when you put at least one rank in it, it's not a half bad idea of just dumping one rank in and then getting, you know, an all right score in something just as a, just as utility. Anyways, so we'll do that. And okay, so here we go. So, uh, as you probably guessed, because I did uh, Weapon Focus Great Sword, we're going to be doing Two-Handed Weapon. And, yeah, we're going to pick Power Attack, because we don't have that yet. And technically you need it for Cleave, although because it's a um, an ability like this, it uh, allows you to skirt the prerequisites. But, uh, yeah, we'll still take Power Attack. All right. And no spells yet, uh, so just a nice summary. There we go, complete. Let's go through everyone quickly. Cleric, we will keep leveling you up in Cleric. And you've got two skill points. Yeah, let's just keep uh, perception. Hmm. Ah, sure. Harem, you can have some perception as well. Uh, no new abilities. There we go. Okay, this gives me a little icon. There it is. Um, so it's automatically doing it. Um, I wonder if there's a way... There must be a way to turn it on or off. I'll sort that out later. Right now it's fine. Bard! Yes, we will keep leveling you in Bard. And you've got lots and I... And Oh wow, you've actually got everything as a class skill. Well, bards do get a good group of um, uh, skill choices, but wow. So let's use you for stealth. So let's do trickery, stealth, alter arcana, knowledge, lore. 
Hmm. Might be our best at persuasion, but for right now, that bumps your stealth up to 11, which is awesome. Okay. And... Okay, so... Yeah, you get a bard talent. So weapon focus, can you observer? Um, combat trick. Bonus combat feat. Yeah, I was thinking, actually... I'll go through. I'm looking at combat trick and see if I can get you point-blank shot because you use the crossbow and I'll probably have you continue to do that. And uh, not as interesting... Yeah, not as interesting. Uh, skill focus is not bad. Yeah, that's not going to help you. Combat trick. Point blank shot. Let's do that. Good. Uh, and then eventually, um, obviously following up with precise shot, probably at uh, level 3 for your feet. Okay. And you get to pick up another spell. Alright, uh, let's see, what do we got? Sleep is useful, low level. Hideous laughter. Yeah, that's good, because this is a... Uh, Ear-piercing scream is a fortitude, and hideous laughter is a will, so let's, let's do that. There we go. Okay, complete. Last one, Amiri. Keep having you level in Barbarian. Uh, and let's just... Yeah, Persuasion is not your thing. Oh, yeah, I guess Persuasion in this context could be Intimidate for a Barbarian. Okay, well... Let's keep having you level Athletics, Mobility, Knowledge, Nature. Hmm... Maybe we will throw one rank in here. Maybe just to get some uh, the ability to go intimidate, or just or just keep boosting perception. I'll do that for now, actually. Okay, abilities. Ah, oh, yes. So rage power, animal fury. You get a bite attack. No. Two claw attacks. That doesn't work if you're holding a weapon. Guarded stance, plus one dodge, not bad. Lethal stance, melee attack rolls, reckless stance. Yeah, I don't really need to drop your AC. Let's... Because the thing is, the way I'm setting up with myself being two-handed weapon fighter, um, we've basically got two glass cannons. <laughs> Which which is good in terms of if we run up and and make our hits, uh, we can do we can pile on tons of damage and and um, uh, take an enemy down quickly. But if they get the drop on us or if our attacks miss, yeah. Um, I think both these are good options. I'm gonna take guarded stance and complete. There we go. Okay. Time's not waiting. Okay, well let's grab everyone. Uh, just in case there's any skill checks All involved. According to plan. Uh, okay, let's take a look at over here. You know, some good steel traps in the box. Yeah, let's use those, because we said we could. Or Oleg said we could. What else we got? Nothing here. Oh, something over here. Seems to be tar. Alright, yeah. Let's put the tower down. That'll slow them down. And this box glowed. There's loot! Um, I think we can take these. Is there anything up here? Yep. A silver spoon. <laughs> Alright. Collect. There we go. Let's keep running around quickly. Can't get into the stables, but you can hear the horses. Nothing here. Oh, it's potatoes. Sure, cooking ingredient. Let's check up here. 
nothing. Uh, can we go behind? No. All right, let's run to the other side. Oh, there's our traps. Good. There's quite a few of them. Let's run around them. We probably can't trigger them, but let's not take the chance. Who knows? I haven't decided, I haven't figured out what kind of DM this game is. For all I know, they would force a save and someone's gonna fail. And it would be hilarious as it is bad. Didn't seem to be anything over here. Oh, rat. Can I see underneath there? Nope. Let's go up here. I think this is the last place we can check. Oh, one more thing. More loots. Heavy crossbow, longsword, bucklers. Okay. Well, I guess that's everything. Let's come over here again. And let's... Let's quick save. And let's talk to... see if we can talk to Svetlana. Oh, looks like we talked to both of them anyways. Forget about it before they stop talking to you and turn around. Hmm. Um, let's get back to the possible attack. Oleg, I'd like to see your goods. Don't know what good trading will serve with those bloodsuckers, if those bloodsuckers come back and take everything, but all right, have a look. Oh. If you can uh, sell me something, you've got a lot of masterwork weapons. If you can sell me something that's better than what I've got. Yeah, you got a lot of masterwork weapons. Do you have any plus one? A little bit. Plus one two bladed sword, plus one scimitar, mm. plus one shield. Well, we only have 463. Actually, let's. Yeah, all of them. Let's sell you a bunch of junk that we've got. Can I double click? Good. Yeah, that was leather armor. Yeah. Heavy mace, I'll hold on to that for the moment. Jasper, heavy crossbow, probably sell. Bucklers, I'll hold. Mm. Yeah, hold on to it for the moment. Oh, should I? Oh, I don't need to equip that. Okay. Chain shirt. Hold on to that for a moment. Great axe. No one's going to use that. We can sell that. Short bow, sell, sell, sell. Incense, definitely sell. Studded leather, let's hold on to that. Onto that. See. Okay. Looks like we're still... Um, okay. Deal. Good. So we've now got 500... Oh, and it showed up here. Okay, it just didn't evaporate. Oh, okay, those are probably cooking ingredients for uh, uh, camping. Okay. Let's see. Um, I could probably use a uh, better great... If, there, if you've got a masterwork great sword, yeah. For 400, you can afford that. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many people we're going to gain and lose, so for now I'm just going to buy that. And... Actually... I can sell you... that's worth 12. <laughs> okay. Shared stash. Let's give me... Did that give it to me? Nope. Okay, well, I'll, I'll equip it in just a moment. Alright. Run with that. I don't think there's anything really that prepared. we needed. Alright. Game crashed on me right after I quick saved and talked to Oleg. Let's just Adventures call to them. see if there is... Um, Oh yeah, I meant to go to inventory. Let's see, can you... I think you can wear a buckler along with... No, okay. For some reason I thought you could. Anyways, back to that. Let's see, harem, you've got a heavy mace, and that's identical, okay. Let's see, chain shirt, you've got chain shirt. 
but you're our arcane caster, so let's keep you in leather armor. Yeah, okay. Doesn't look like there's anything particular. I'm wearing a chain shirt, which is light, but that's fine for now. Okay. Well, we searched everywhere. I think it's just time to wait for the attack. Um, oh, okay, well, let's get back to the possible attack. If we keep dallying, we'll end up talking with the attackers rather than about them, if they're even willing to talk. Tell me as much as you know. How many bandits are there? Uh, well, kind of can guess what they want, but sure. What do they want? Those bloodsuckers think they own this land. They come, they take what they want. They steal the better part of our money every month as a troll for their leader. They even broke our gate so we couldn't try and hide anything from them. No one knows exactly how many of them there are. Sometimes only five or six come, sometimes it's a whole gang. I've shown them... Uh, I'd have shown them what for a long... Uh, for long ago, but not for Svetlana. Yeah. I'm not even going to ask why they're collecting taxes. I think that's... Yeah. Let's wait for the attack. I am prepared for the attack. Get in your positions and wait. Finally a fight. I was bored with all that talking. Well, these aren't the heroics I was hoping to write about. But I guess even the greatest heroes had to start somewhere. Yeah, that's right. I see you're not easily cowed. I beg you be careful. And please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Oh, he's got a crossbow. He said he was going to use that, so we'll be the meat shields. Don't worry. Svetlana, go hide inside. We're going to meet our guests. There we go. Oh. Cool, he's, he's alive with that. Boom! Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's cast Bane on... Is there... This one has... A, yeah, you've got a name, so you get selected. Uh, I don't think you've got anything... Uh, outside of range, okay. Let's not worry about that. And let's take down these bandits ASAP. Okay. Actually, we should pull back just a little bit once Harem casts. Is that a touch attack? No. Come on, guys, move back. Use the trap store advantage. Boom, got one. Oh, get this guy. Alright. This should do it. Focus. Survive. I always Come on, survive. guys. Lost. Touch it for deep. Oh, there Vol is dead. Okay. Well. Anything is possible. Still getting used to everyone's skills. Okay, there's that's what cure light wounds looks like. Okay. And Harem, you can convert anything. Alright. Let's get everyone Here a little I bit am. better what positioned. Probably be okay, but... Ready for okay, let's do this again. Um... Let's see. Let's do this one again. If they're dallying, we end up talking with the attackers. As much as you know, what do they want? What do they want? Those blood-sucking think they can... they own this land. Actually, I already read this, so I'm not going to read it again for you. I'm just doing it again just in case some of these interactions actually, you know, get saved and make a difference. So we'll just keep going with that, and let's wait for the attack. Continue, and off we go. Okay, let's get them to come in a little bit. Whoa, hold. Yeah, there we go, this is better. Come on, over here, harem. Let them walk through the traps. Now take them down. Okay, <laughs> definitely will, harem. There you go, let's get healed up. 
And Amiri, let's put pressure on the bandits. Ah, harem's down. Yeah. Cure Light doesn't do anything if they've already... Oh, this could be really bad. I think Oleg's down. <laughs> All right, let's get the last one. Miss, miss, and kablam. All right, good. <laughs> so that's interesting. So yeah, so they basically stabilize if you make it through the attack. And um, yeah. Okay, good. Well, wow, there was quite a few of them. Glad we put down all those uh, traps and whatnot. Well, oh, what do you got? Cloak, Ident unidentified. Uh, someone's got a magical cloak. Good. I'm going to collect all this stuff because we can sell it right back to Oleg. And is there anything on the ground here? There seems to be a sphere of radius on the loot. So this guy is still highlighting yellow and didn't get picked up, I'm guessing. Yep. All right, let's grab that all stuff. According to plan. And let's go chat with Oleg. Hopefully we can rest up. Ah, oh, you rats got what you deserved. Now they'll know better than to treat honest people like cattle. We should call Bokum out before he freezes in those bushes. Now, my lord, head up to the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. Yep, let's, um... Let's not have a big mess before any of the other Staglord's men come back and see this. This is for your efforts. Now, don't don't offend me by trying to turn it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be so much better. Ah, thank you for the hundred coins. Alright, well, we'll head inside. And we'll probably leave it there for now. Seems like we've successfully defended Oleg's for now. Yep, there we go. And let's talk to Svetlana quickly. Glad it's finally over, even if there was a fight. We'll talk tomorrow, once we've I've finished working. Oh. I seem to have found a secret. But... It's locked. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's go to sleep, we'll wake up in the morning, and carry on from there. Oh, wait a minute. You wake up from a nasty dream tortured... A nasty dream that tortured you almost all night long. In it, you saw a wall of a naturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out the window, and you find the fog was nothing but a figment of your imagination. Not a, was, was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream. And then... Hear me. Oh, hello? Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. I can hear you. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph. The guardian of this area. The defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. Hmm. What do you want of me? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. The Stag Lord is responsible for the fog? Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But 
while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. How can I help you? This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created, but my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house, and it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandit's camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. Alright, I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Alright. Well, we're going to leave it here for now. And pick it up next time. So thanks everyone for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.